you start to think that after 10 years of doing photography you're like okay now you know i have some level of skills and expertise and but damn these guys they're just they completely humble you Hey guys, good morning. Back to another vlog. I hope the audio is uh, not too bad. So I have made my way here. It's a terribly long walk. Like previously, the water was much shallower, so I could uh, just wade across very close to where the birds are. But this time, I had to go all the way around. Anyway, it was worth the walk because what I spotted from far away was something that looked like a slender-built gull. So that's something very unusual, which you don't see here very often. It's in fact uh, more unusual than seeing a Huglin's gull or a Palace's gull. And so I had to had to come over here, and it was worth it. And so I did find them. I don't think it's visible in this camera. but it's further down at the back there i'm going to go and try and uh, get some shots go as slowly as i can there's a small flock of plovers also close by if they don't get scared then uh, there's a good chance that i'll be able to approach the gulls so that's the agenda now i'm going to keep the phone down i'm not really used to filming while i'm crawling and shooting so yeah i'm going to keep the phone down now and update you guys in uh, just a bit just be able to see the gulls there so i did pull out my phone and try and shoot a quick uh, clip of how i'm approaching so they do seem to be very skittish and uh, so they've sat somewhere which has a lot of water in between them and us and that means they may be a little more confident with seeing me approach because they know that i won't be able to you know get to them across the water at least that's the kind of theory i've been working with and uh, something that has uh, panned out for me previous couple of times that i've done uh, this kind of thing so let's hope i can go behind that stump of wood and and get more close uh, footage of them
Okay, so I'm going to make a very brief and quick introduction to this place. It's um, a patch that's exposed due to low tide. And there's like, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 snipes, which is very unusual. So I'm guessing it's a species that is migrating. It's not the common snipe that we see here regularly. And uh, they just keep popping up like landmines. There's one that just took off right now. So it's impossible to find them once they land. So I'm trying to keep an eye on one or two that just pop up and land close to me where I can see them. And that's how I hope to perhaps film or take some pictures and record them. Otherwise, I'll have to try and catch them in flight. So that's what I'm doing here. Turns are not far away. They are now just being bothered by crows. Turns and gulls. And I'm going to see if I can get some good footage of the snipes. Uh, guys, so from a mellow and cloudy morning, it's gotten super hot now and uh, bird activity has of course reduced. The last thing I was doing was trying to shoot some uh, barn swallows. I think they are barn or could be red rumped. I'll have to just go and double check that. Uh, and there's a guy that showed up, another photographer, quite late to come right now, but he came and Snipes started moving around a little more. I was beginning to get some luck with them, but after this fellow showed up, it became harder. So I just, uh, and then now the sun is too high up and uh, they have all moved off from this patch of grass where I was shooting them. I did get a few snippets. I'd love to come back and maybe try to uh, take videos of these guys again. I am starting to figure out their pattern and the way they move and you know how best to capture them. So I'll try that again but for now I'm just gonna wrap up today and in any case the snipes was I'd say by far the most humbling experience I've had. You start to think that after 10 years of doing photography you're like okay now you know I have some level of skills and expertise and but damn, these guys, they're just, they completely humble you with the, the way they just disappear. I mean, I, I can spot birds, but these guys, it's just like grass is coming to life as soon as they spring up. They shoot out of the ground. So what a humbling experience. What a lovely morning. Now, yeah, I'm just going to pack up and uh, go ahead and process all of this stuff and share it with you guys. So thank you again for watching. I'll try and be a little more frequent, I always say that, but it's hard, <laughs> so yeah, keep watching. <laughs>